Good afternoon and welcome to First United Methodist Church of Farmington for our weekly devotional time. Our devotion for today comes to us um, through the upper room from Olawasola, Jeged of Lagos, Nigeria. The biblical verse is from Esther, chapter 10, the first three verses, which says, King Xerxes imposed tribute throughout the empire to its distant shores. And all of his acts of power and might, together with a full account of the greatness of Mordecai, whom the king had promoted, are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Medea and Persia? Mordecai the Jew was second in rank to King Xerxes, preeminent among the Jews, and held in high esteem by his many fellow Jews, because he worked for the good of his people and spoke for the welfare of all the Jews. And then from Psalm 113, verses 7 and 8. The Lord our God raises up the poor of the dust and lifts the needy out of the dunghill, that the Lord may set them with princes, even with the princes of the people. Our reflection is entitled, God Lifts Us. As I was reading Esther, I found a detail that I previously hadn't noticed. In addition to being praised around the kingdom at the end of the book, Mordecai became King Xerxes' second in command, and he used his position of power to speak up for the Jewish population, who were exiles often disenfranchised in Xerxes' kingdom. Mordecai was once a powerless man who sat at the gate of the palace, but God lifted him up to become the king's deputy. What a promotion. The Bible teaches me that God wants the best for me. When I encounter struggles, it is not always something I've earned or deserved. Sometimes my pain is just a process that I am going through. I try to remember this, especially when life is hard or when I feel ashamed. God sees me and will give me everlasting joy in place of shame. That is a quote from Isaiah, the 61st chapter, verse 7. With God who can trust that our weeping and sh with God, excuse me, with God we can trust that our weeping and shame is not forever, our Creator will lift us out of any dunghill and set us among princes. The prayer focus for today is those in my community who are poor. The thought for today, my pain is a process that God is helping me through. Friends, as I was considering this reflection and devotion, I thought that indeed God had promoted Mordecai to Xerxes' second in command because Mordecai had the courage to speak up for those who were disenfranchised. Then Mordecai passed the challenging, that challenging courage to Queen Esther by suggesting that she had been called for such a time as this. So God works in and through us, providing strength and wisdom, especially at times when we are called to be courageous in the face of injustice. Can you think of times when you have been called to be brave by standing up in that face of injustice? And this morning, I'd like to take just a moment to remember all of the veterans in our communities and all the veterans around the world from many nations who have faced war. On this day, let us give thanks for their service, offer them a hand, and be sure to give thanks for all that they have done to lead us and to bless us. On this Veterans Day, let us remember all those who have served. And now I invite you to pray with me the prayer from Oluwasola 
of Lagos, Lagos, excuse me, Nigeria. Dear Lord, you see our pain and our shame. Teach us to have confidence in you to lift us up regardless of our present situation. Amen.